So let's take a look at how we can send an email from Outlook from PowerShell, which is just as cool as it sounds. Basically, it works by interacting with the Outlook object model, which is kind of a interface that programming languages can utilize to manipulate Outlook programmatically. So we can do it with PowerShell utilizing the new object commandlet and then the com object parameter and we instantiate it with outlook.application. So we have to create an object from it and in this case my object is uh, from a variable named ol. So when I run this bit of code here I have this new outlook object and it has some default information that it displays if I run it. I can pipeline it to get member and you'll see that like many objects it has a lot of things associated with it events methods properties if I want to find out which version of Outlook I'm using I can use ol dot version and that's a property in there that has the version of Outlook now there's a lot of stuff you can do with that but what we want to do is focus on sending an email so we need to use a method in here somewhere in here called create item. Now there's lots of different items in Outlook and you interact with them all the time. You just interact with them through the GUI interface. So let's look at the objects that you can create through the Outlook object model. You have appointment items, contact items, journal items, note, task items, things that you're familiar with in Outlook. We are going to create a, a mail item. So it's kind of like if you click the new email in Outlook. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do it programmatically. So we do that by calling the create item method in our Outlook object and we supply it the OL mail item. And we wrap that all together and we assign that to a new variable to create a mail item object. So when I run this bit of code and we look at that new mail item object, you'll see that it has many properties as well. All of these are uh, default properties. So they can all be changed. Well, not all of them, but most of them can be changed. And what do you what do you do with this now? Well, the same thing that you do when you click that new email button, you start filling out information, right? You put the email addresses you want to send it to, you change the subject, you add the body, and you prepare an email before you send it. So we're going to do the exact same thing because you can see that there's properties here. There's like the CC field, the VCC, the subject. So we just start assigning um, the proper item types to those, those properties. And we can look at them by pipelining this mail item to get member as well. So we have the to field that accepts a string. You can get it. You can set it. So it tells you whether you can edit it or whether you can just read it. So most of these are readable. Now you'll also see that we don't just have properties associated with this mail item. We have methods as well. And these methods are associated with the actions that you would, uh, uh, that you would perform when you have that email uh, GUI window up, right? So you can uh, delete it, you can forward it, you can mark it as a task, print it out, reply, reply all, save as, and send, which is the one that we are going to focus on. So those are methods. So let's fill out all of our information first. I'm going to do that by running this bit of code here. And now let's take another look at our object. So you'll see it has changed a little bit. The HTML body no longer has all of that pre-configured information. Now you can see that it says exactly what it needs to say. So font face, it's got the font, sent from PowerShell. That's what I put in the body, right? So we can go up a little bit further. Conversation topic, power, power mail is what I, I titled it. The to field is filled out, playing with PowerShell at gmail.com. That's where I'm gonna send it. So now we have created, we have finished creating our mail item object. And what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna send it. So we are just going to use the send method to send this mail item. And I'm gonna show you 
it working in Outlook itself. So I have this delay here. I'm going to run the code and then we'll open up Outlook as quickly as possible. Now look down here where it says connected. Any moment now, you're going to see sending message one of one. It just did it itself. I did not do anything uh, to make it happen. And you'll see that we have a new email from Mr. Power Scripts. It's got a subject of Power Mail and it says sent from PowerShell. How cool is that? Now, there are a lot of things that you can do when you're interacting with the Outlook object model. And there is a reference for it online. You can see there's lots of stuff, lots of stuff. And when you click on any one of these things, most of the time it's going to open up more links to more information. So you can really dig deep. I'll probably make some more videos on some simple things that you can do with Outlook. But that is how you can send an email from Outlook from PowerShell. And that's it. Thanks for watching.